Kind of transitioning to the to the catching side of things. Obviously, that's a huge you know responsibility for a rookie to not just work on offensively, but then you got to handle the, the staff and a lot of veteran pitchers. Um, you know, say you have a bat at bat. How do you refocus and not take that to the field with you um, to handle your pitching staff? Well, first, in the lower levels, uh, even in high school and, and college, you might get away with you can you can show emotion kind of. Once you're a professional and you do that, you'll be working at a at a nine to five job real fast. Mm -hmm. uh, there's no taking your de your your offense out onto your defense and vice versa. If you do that, your career will be really short, um, especially as a catcher. As yeah. a catcher, my my first thing is to be able to catch and get that pitcher through that that game. Mm -hmm. To be able to you know he has that one opportunity to succeed. If it's a starter, it's just one out of five days. So you need to be able to give him everything you got for that for that day. And if it's a bullpen guy, it might be his one out of three days. Or, right. But you have to be able to concentrate solely on that person um, and, and worry about helping your team win on that aspect. Because I can go out there and go 0 for 4 and strike out four times. But I could go out there and catch a good game and, and only have a one run score, catch a shutout, and now – we won that game, and then my 0 for 4 feels like I went 4 for 4 with four home runs. So that's right. that's where you have to really lock it in. Any any little keys to connecting well with your pitching staff? Obviously, you know you're a rookie. There's probably some obstacles to get through with them trusting you completely to call pitches and whatnot. Is there something that really helps you kind of get through to those guys, or that other catchers out there can do to connect to their pitching staff on a new team? Just don't be a phony. Um, don't don't blow the smoke out their butt when they don't need it. Um, you need to be, you know, sometimes the biggest thing is, is to realize, like, I'm not trying to be uh, their best friend. I'm not trying to be buddy-buddy. I'm trying to make this team win. I'm trying to give our team an opportunity to win. So if I need to tell them, hey, this is what you need to do, I need to understand that as the catcher, you're a leader of the team. Mm -hmm. If you like it or you don't like it, you're still going to be the leader. So you have to go out there and say, hey, listen, this is what's going on and you need to get it done. And if the, and if the pitcher doesn't, you know, take, take it good, you have to understand, like, hey, that's that's my job is to get on them. And then vice versa, when, you know, something's good, you tell them something's good. I think the communication uh, is big, and, I, and I've always been really good at that, at, a, at being able to talk with pitchers and communicating, and, and uh, I think that's where the respect comes, is then them realizing that you care about them and that you're their first priority, and then that's when they ultimately respect you when you're upset at them or then when you're happy at them. Yeah. Um, we had talked a little bit the other day, and you were you were talking about um, things you look for as a catcher with batters, and and that, that kind of dictate how you'll attack a certain hitter, where they stand in the box, or certain things like that. Are there a few um, you know standard things that you look for every at bat, or something that, that other catchers can kind of take and and try to be more aware of moving forward? Well, the first thing is, is <clears throat> right when a guy steps in the box, you know what kind of hitter he is. Uh, if a guy who's close to the plate, you know that he can handle the ball in, and that's why he's on the plate, because he doesn't handle the ball away as much, <clears throat> so he wants to walk closer to him. Mm -hmm. um, doesn't mean that you can't throw the ball inside on him, but it sure. still means that that's the kind of hitter he is. And then vice versa, the guy who stands way off the plate is a guy who wants to extend his hands. So now you know the ball inside is not a ball that he handles well he wants the ball out over the plate he wants to be able to extend his arms um, so then that's where his holes are and, and right away you, f you see that and then, then you got to know you know you, you, you know if it's a power guy or a, a, not a power guy and if it's a guy who likes to pull there's, there's a lot of situations that go within the game um, but I think the biggest thing is being able to see that right off the bat and then know that all right he's close to the plate this is what kind of hitter is he's far away from the plate and if he's in the middle, maybe he's a guy who can go both ways, you know, pull the ball. But you have to be able to, to, to gauge that. And I think that just seeing the way he stands shows you a lot of things. Yeah. Um, I got to talk with Sal Fazano the other day, Blue Jays double-A coach. Did you actually play for him? No, I never, never played for him. I only played against him. Okay. Yeah. Um, he was saying, long-time catcher in the big leagues, that, that occasionally if he didn't like a guy, he, he would throw dirt in his shoe. From the catcher's position, <laughs> you, have you ever done anything ridiculous like that? No, um, uh, 
when you're young and in major leagues, you try to you try to stay out of any any kind of limelight. You try to stay out of anything. Um, so I I go about my business, uh, you know, the way I need to go about my business, and that's not doing any of that. <laughs> Are you a talker behind the plate? Will you talk to guys when they get in the box? Or you? I, I say hi and I say what's up to guys. I mean, nothing. I don't. You don't like talk crap. It's not like right, uh, right. It's not like the Sandlot uh, <laughs> or or Hamilton Porter's back there uh, saying stuff. But I mean, you say hi to guys and stuff like yeah. that. But once you know, once the that bat's gonna start, you both lock it in onto what you need to do. Right. It's, 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 it's,